Hello, how's it going? I'll tell you how it's going. It is going very, very well. We are going to put some data into BigQuery. It's a really basic data table. We're going to set up an IAM service account to access that data. And that's going to give us a JSON file that we can plug into Python. Then we can write some Python code and read from that database. Sounds cool. All right, so I have set up my own project here. Uh, I've got an empty working folder and I've set up VS Code to read from that folder as well. First things first, let's uh, create some data. So I am going to just throw down my sample data CSV file. And in here, uh, let's just put name, Harry, Ron, Hermione. And we'll put sex is M, M, F. And yeah, let's put another Another lady, Ginny. Uh, save that. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong format. Save that as a proper, proper CSV. And go. Uh, go away. Is that saved? Yes, fine, that is a CSV file. Right, go away, Excel. Let's jump over to BigQuery. Uh, you may have to enable this if it's the first time you're doing this. Uh, I've got my project crash learn here. There's not a lot in it. So firstly, let's create the data set that we're going to store our tables in. Uh, I'll call this Hogwarts. Why not? And then in Hogwarts, the schema, let us create a table. So we're going to upload uh, sample data. Perfect. As a CSV, we'll call this um, characters, I suppose. And uh, I, I don't trust the, the schema making of Google BigQuery, so I'll just do this quickly myself and add in the name and the gender. And then make sure we skip the first row because that is the header. Create. All right, characters has been created. If I jump over to the preview, hey, looking pretty good. That's what I want to see. All right. Now we're going to jump over to the IAM and admin. And if we click on a service account on the side here and then create a service account. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, if you like a user and give that user permissions to access BigQuery. We're then going to download the credentials for this new user. And that's what we'll put into Python. So my service account name, let's call this crash BigQuery connector and yeah that will do got this service account so we do want to grant it access to BigQuery uh, let's just go BigQuery admin great and then I don't need to grant any users I am God I am in charge of my Google Cloud so I will just leave that blank and give all the permissions to me okay we now have a service account the next step is to click through go to keys and add a key. Create new key. And what we're going to do here is download the JSON file. If I jump through to my downloads, I can see the JSON file here. Uh, if I open it up, in fact, yeah, it's got some pretty good stuff. Private keys, URIs, all the stuff that Google needs to confirm it's me. So I will grab that and put it in my working folder. Next thing we need to do is we'll go over to Python. I'm going to press Control Shift P, create a virtual environment. All right, perfect. Let's get the terminal up and pip install Google Cloud BigQuery. All righty. I'll just wait for all this to install itself. Thank you. Now I'll create my Python code. So we'll create a main.py. And first things first, in here, from google.cloud import bigquery. We need to create a client. So client equals bigquery.client with a capital C from underscore service underscore account underscore JSON. Now, in the uh, 
brackets we need to put the name of our JSON file. So I will paste that in there. Marvelous. That's kind of it right now. All we need to do is write a bit of code that reads from the BigQuery. So our query is going to be uh, select name from, and then if we jump back to the Google Cloud, I'm going to go into BigQuery and just take the path to Hogwarts characters. So through to details, table ID here, that's got the project, the data set, and the table. Copy, paste that in there, and then let's add a filter. So where gender equals F. Yeah, let's get some girls in here. That'll be nice. Um, okay, next step is to run the query. So query job equals client.query query. That second query is this argument we made above. Finally then, the query job, that's going to return a load of results. So let's iterate through them for row in query job. And let's just simply print the name. So effectively, this is printing the name column, that first column of the data set for every result of our query. Okay, save this and we'll run it F5. Takes a little. Perfect. And our results are in Hermione and Ginny, which makes perfect sense. We've accessed this very basic table, our query filters on when gender equals F, and yeah, our results are here. Now what's great about this method is, this JSON file and this Python script, you can move it around. If you're, for example, making a Flask app, you can put this straight into an app engine in Google Cloud and it'll work fine. Cool. That's it. Goodbye.